Hello, this is Lacey. I'm going to do a general collective energy reading. See how everything's going with the collective. I'm already feeling vibes of carrying over from that short vibe. You got somebody who has a crush on you. They like you, but I'm getting you might not be this person's usual type. Like, this might even be interracial. Mm, might be a little chocolate and vanilla swirl. That or, I don't know, like, <laughs> maybe you're thin, they usually go for thicker. Or maybe you're thicker, they usually go for thinner. Or, you know, you're just... Uh, different maybe they go for people who I don't know more basic type of women <laughs> like and that's another thing I could keep I hearing them saying like they're like her vibe or his vibe they're different like they different like you know like <laughs> a lot of people like they say they different you don't even gotta say it other people say it for you oh with the strength card you're brave too that's another thing they like you because you're brave you like to you're and you're confident and it's just like it's something about you that just hits right like you know like you're not overly confident you're laid back you don't even like even in your emotions like sometimes you even if you curse somebody out nobody will believe that you curse somebody really she got mad like that i don't believe it i gotta see it like you know <laughs> it's just something about you and whatnot see yeah you're you're you march to the beat of your own drum with the hermit hair this person is going into introspection though like you know they're really thinking hard about this because they don't want to hmm, mess things up but the fact that they keep thinking about you is making them it's emotional masturbation. That's what we'll call that. That's when you think of someone again and again in your head and because of constantly thinking on them, you gain some sort of attraction or you fall in love with them falsely in your head. Not to say that his love for you might be false, but you know, they didn't act on this yet. Like this could be somebody who, hmm, I need more here. The magician. Oh, and yeah, the way you kind of, you pull things out of thin air. That's another quality you have that this person might like or people like about you in general. You might be the master manifester here. If you've been seeing spiders lately, that's the sign that your manifestation is coming. I got the little spider here. If you notice there's spiders on the back of the dollar, it means manifestation and also it could mean money prosperity you could have some um uh money coming in if you've been listening to like any type of or doing any sort of money manifestation i know i gotta pick back up my journal and start journaling again this person just wonders how you do it that's another energy coming in Yeah, somebody might ha be gossiping about you. I don't think you really got to worry about that. This person, the people who are gossiping about you, like, you don't live up to their gossip. Like, there might be, I might go into a different reading on this because it's and keep the love energy separate. The people who are gossiping on you, though, they're mad because they can't get nobody to believe their gossip because you just show to be such a genuine person. It's making them look like a bully. You could have had somebody try to trigger you, hoping that you would react so that, hmm, they could make you look crazy. <laughs> Dictator, injustice, yeah, all oh, with the king of swords here in reverse. You could have had to try to, you could have had to cut someone off recently or this person who is attracted to you is thinking about leaving their partner or cutting some people off 
because your energy is so refreshing and you like i don't know they might look at your videos just you doing things and walking around they might notice the fact that you dancing to the beat of your own drum has a lot to do with you being a master manifest uh fester and i could feel them realizing they're like how could i even like you know like connect the dots watching this person they're connecting the dots and they're starting to feel like if they cut all certain people they might become more magical like you that's another problem or not problem it could be a problem but that's another thing you could have noticed in your dating live life is that you had some masculine energies that wanted to emulate you some of them too could get like i don't know like like your friends and they get competitive with you i'm like why are you competing with me you're a man you might have had to hold down some things on your own and that could have invoked some of your masculine energy let's pull out another card Oh, you got the star card here. You're going to be shining. It did initially come out in reverse. I pulled it in reverse. So you could have somebody who feels like they lost their shine and they're looking at you to how they could get back up there. Or maybe you could feel like, I don't know, like if you ever dealt with a loss of your page and you got to redo the page all over again. I just did that with my old twitter page i'm like oh now i gotta redo it but i can see that even if you had to even if you lost your social media following you had to rebuild it you probably had a lot of fun doing it and not only that they know that you're about to go from this to that this there you might have people fronting on you because of hmm where you're at in whatever industry you're at like you haven't moved to the top yet or proved yourself they somebody knows intuitively that when you do it's going to be viral or promotion or you're gonna be the ceo the hbic <laughs> head mother in charge i'm just getting a lot of good energy on that pile <laughs> Who else? what else is going on i want to tap more there's two masculine energies here that really admire you like who you are like they actually i'd be surprised when guys actually have deep emotional feelings i don't know why i'm used to them pretending like they only want want one no i'm not let me stop saying that i don't know why i gotta stop making it a habit just to talk trash about God. A lot of guys have helped me out in life. <laughs> I had a lot of positive male influences in my life. That's why I am a little, I'm feminine, fully feminine, but you know, there's some, there's some masculine traits in there. Oh, we got the sun card here. Oh, I meant to block out that star card. Hopefully that don't have its effect <laughs> on my social media. Yeah, you got a lot of happiness coming in. Like, even if you feel like you're struggling now, I'm seeing around maybe the fall time, like, ooh, what is it? Like, as soon as after the fall equinox come in, there's going to be a weight lifted up off of you. You're going to have things more in order than, you know, you feel like you do now. I'll block out the sun card, too, because it not showing anything but it's technically got some little nudies there so we'll block out the little sun guard i don't want my videos getting banned and i just started this i want more on that energy yeah the person who like you you might not even expect that they like you but you could feel that energy this person could be a little bit conceited i'm like oh my goodness this person might be um dark complexion with waves i just saw that nice teeth a little earring this person could don't have to be though but i saw a flash of that in my head like you lick their lips type of guy i'm seeing fresh white t-shirt earring type of guy who's a bit into himself this another person could also be um 
have locks that could be of significance. <laughs> Don't have to be though. I, oh, I could see another guy too. Oh my goodness, brown hair, tall, white guy <laughs> for another uh, reading that like you. Oh goodness, yeah, a couple of them come in. It's funny when I do that. That's why I'm like tarot cards really are magical, especially if you're intuitive and you touch on certain things. You could see certain visuals flash through your mind. It's definitely something that you gotta get used to. Anticipation. Yes, yeah, somebody also could be an Aries, you or the person you like. What other signs we got down here? And we got Virgo. Oh, heavy Virgo placement. You might have an ex that's a Virgo because there's also energy coming in of somebody that's missing you. Here, decisions, discover. Oh, you might be traveling. Oh, this person is in anticipation. Every time they, they anticipate when you're going to post, this person anticipates when they might see you. This person might be planning to run into you. And they're like, yo, I'ma just do it. Like, you know, cause I'm like, I can't get this person out of my head. Like, I hope she's still like, I hope, this person hopes that you're an option for them. This person, I'm not gonna lie, they used to pull in, they used to pull in different types of women. They used to, they, they pull game is strong, but your, your energetic pull game might be stronger. They're like, is this person, they wonder if you're doing some sort of magic spell on them, and you're not. <laughs> but at the end of the day, this person barely believes in that. But there's just something about you that this person might stuck in the past. Yeah, somebody there is, somebody else, you got another energy of somebody who's stuck in the past with you. They feel bored with their other options. They seeing you as real independent. They don't necessarily, they like that, they do. They're attracted to that, but they kind of, this person at some point wanted you to, I don't know, need their validation and rely on them. I'm seeing you are practicing a lot of forgiveness. This person might be trying to work like some sort of, memory magic on you so you don't really remember like what they did to you if you feel any type of way like hmm maybe you know i i did have something to do with that like you can't like or you might be thinking of what you might have done wrong to deserve that you probably didn't deserve that if i was you i would cleanse i listened to what is it, Reiki to undo magic spell right here on YouTube. And now I find that that works. I'm like, but see, I knew it. Somebody was trying to put some, put the root on me. <laughs> or if I just keep running into a certain person on a path, I'm like, somebody was trying to carry over some sort of something on me. Let's pull some more. For this person who likes you, my bad, I hit the camera, I hit the camera. There's a few suitors. Who else likes my collective spirit? Who else likes my collective spirit? You might have a neighbor that likes you. And what do they like about you? I might pull from my note ball. Somebody might be want somebody either likes that you're generous or somebody might be thinking of spending some money on you. They might want to subscribe and see what you're about. <laughs> they want to see what you got going on. Oh gosh. They want to see, baby, what you do. Oh, this person could be laid back or they could like that you're laid back. If you are laid back, you don't have to be. Some people in this reading, I could sense, they have like charisma, like, you know, that's great. And that's another thing. You could also be laid back with charisma and they're trying to explain that. This person likes that you got great makeup. Either you wear your makeup really lightly or just the way you do your makeup, they, it's like real sensual to them. 
they like something about your makeup. I don't know why I said lightly. Some people like, you know, resilient. They like how you don't let your setbacks get to you. Like, you know, you're real resilient. And this person wishes that they had your resiliency. You got a cute laugh. This person likes that you got a real cute laugh. This person could also be someone, you see, I, I already said that too, you're different. And that came out, I was like, what? From the beginning, pal, you're different and they want you because of your differences, like whatever that be, be that height, weight, or race, <laughs> socioeconomic background. They like that you're different and they want to, I uh, have a little piece of your difference with you. A little piece of your difference with you. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> when you channeling, sometimes words be jumbling. Or... I'm going to blame it on Mercury retrograde. I'm going to blame it on the retrograde. And I'm going to blame it on the Bronx. I had better speech before I started looking at no. <laughs> Passion, breakthrough, progress. There's also somebody regretting the way they came at you. Like you could have had somebody came at you like overly aggressive, like more than they should have for a female. Like, you know, it's like giving somebody who thought that they could like put you in their place type of energy. This person is going to they're gonna get retaliation for that, or not retaliation, they're gonna get karma for that. And not only that, they're worried about someone you know retaliating against them, or they're worried who you might tell, like how they treated you. Like, you know, cause I see the ace, this person also wanted you, and they feel like they could have had you if they were more kind to you, but they were so back and forth to, like you triggered this person's hmm, insecurity. Like this person might not be the most attractive on a physical or energetic level. So they felt the need, it was like real subconscious when they tried to come at you or put you down, or they could have tried to come at somebody else. Like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. But that person, they want you, they miss you. I mean, that, that, not that person, the other person. See, that energy is coming through. Whoever that is, this wanting you energy is strong. This person does want you too, the way they came at you. And they do kind of want you around, whoever that is. Like, you know, that came into my head. There was somebody who was a douche to you like I don't know see yeah I'm gonna put that there it's disagreements disharmony this person feels like with your confidence and the way you take certain things on and the way people like you're accepted by a lot of different groups of people and this person didn't think you recognize that this person felt like they could make you feel left out of their little corny pond but you went on back to the ocean and you know now these people want to get in the ocean with you but you the only one that got the submarine like you know you got your own submarine you went to the ocean with the mermaids and the big fish that you're used to and they're like you know they also just wonder <laughs> like why you would even grace their presence in the first place you might just be a people person like even like me I, I was homeschooled up until the age of like 15 so to me like I don't necessarily recognize cool crowd bad crowd like I try to go with my intuition people are people to me and that's another thing that probably allows for you to be in certain rooms because people are people to you and it's like funny like your energy is funny and refreshing like you know 
it's like you're you might be childlike but you're you're not naive like you know <laughs> you're not naive but you you know people are people you're like oh people like <laughs> or bad people and if people are bad in higher places you don't ignore their badness because of their title the titles that they have or because of the money that they have you don't accept mistreatment from them and people in low places you definitely don't accept mistreatment for them you don't you might try to give understanding see gathering celebrations now that you back you're about to be back with your tribe or your whatever they gonna feel left out the party whoever tried to make you feel left out now feels left out the party not only that this person's been watching you too like don't after this disagreement they like you know they almost banked on it too like whether you were gonna be successful or not you're gonna you're always successful and you, you stay successful but you know they might have just i don't know i don't know what's going on with them and this could have even been over a third party. Like you could have left somebody behind, ghosted one of their friends or something. And then this person tried to interject into it. Spirit, give me the best card. Oh, I can see whatever you're building is going to last. You might even be happy that you're working alone or this person might have, you might have decided to just focus on work because you're like, I'm done with the friendships. I'm done with the BS. I'm just going to sit over here and you, look at the way that guy is building up his pentacles, sitting there on the ground, banging and working on his pentacles. That's you right there. Whatever you you decided, all right, I'm going to just sit here on the bench. I'm going to master my crafts, my talents, my skills, and it's going to lead you to a lot of accomplishments in the very near future at that. I may pull some angel numbers for this reading and then close it out. Spirit, do you have any more you want the collective to know tonight? Do you have anything more that you want the collective to know tonight? Any more? One more? Yeah. Yeah, that energy is pulling in again. That guy that kind of wanted to dominate you or act like they were superior to you or like you didn't know what you were talking about. I don't know. This You could have been new coming in and they acted that way towards you. This could have been a boss, a manager, a co-worker that just gave you mad attitude for no reason. And you like just, I don't know, just based on their thoughts of you, this person could be... Uh, misogynist or misandrous you know one of those it could have been because of your gender they didn't like your gender spirit give me some angel numbers for my collective give me some angel numbers for my collective give me some angel numbers for my collective that's eight five Four. Angel number 854. Let me tell you what that means. We're going to search it for you right now and tell you what angel number. Let's see. Angel number 854. Angel number. The message behind angel number 845 has to do with personal growth and achieving your goals. Through hard work, your angels may be sending you this message to remind you to stay focused on your path and not give up, no matter how difficult things may seem. Yes, see, I told you, working hard on your pentacles there, and that's 854, angel number. All right. I love you, Collective. You have a good time until next time. And hopefully I will see you later.